went from liver failure almost, levels that were indicative of organ failure, and they said that if my liver failed, my pancreas was probably gonna fail, and it would be a nice little chain reaction of failed organs to perfect health. When I first came to Dr. Joe's work, um, I signed up for his retreat in June of 2023 in Cancun, just with the idea of, can I find more happiness? And can I find more love? And can I find more joy? When I came to that retreat, the most impactful part of it for me was the coherence healings and being a part of helping to heal someone else, being there to send love to them so that they can overcome whatever challenges they're facing. When I left that event, I joined a remote coherence healing group because I wanted to keep doing this. And I signed up for the retreat in December. About a week before the December retreat started, I ended up with a fever that lasted over a week. And on my first day of the retreat, I showed up, the fever had not gone away. And I started turning yellow. My skin turned yellow, my eyes turned yellow. And that's slightly scary. Um, so I went to see the doctors and they did a blood test. They gave me an IV. And when I got the results of the blood test back, they essentially said that my liver levels were so high that they didn't see levels like that in people who weren't experiencing liver failure. So they needed to send me to the hospital for more testing, uh, scans, tests, to try to figure out what was going on. And the two things they said before they sent me to the hospital, number one was sometimes in people who used to drink a lot, who have stopped drinking, it takes a while for the body to catch up. Once the liver knows it's got a break and it has some time, it then decides to detox all of the built up toxins from, in my case, 15 years of alcohol. I stopped drinking a year before I got here. I don't identify as an alcoholic. I probably was a heavy drinker. I probably didn't have the healthiest relationship with alcohol, um, but not an alcoholic. They also said that the liver is representative of resentment, fear, and anger on your paternal side. After tests and tests and tests and tests and scans and scans and scans and they don't find anything and there is no diagnosis, they let me out of the hospital, back to the event, and I make it back just in time for the coherence healings. I ended up being able to be a healy for all three of the coherence healings in Cancun. And I went in really, really intentional about this isn't mine. I don't want to keep it. And if I show up with any fear or any resistance, I will keep it. And this will come home with me and I will get a diagnosis and it will turn into a disease and this will become a problem that I have to live with for the rest of my life. And so I went in as open as I possibly could to just let go. This is my opportunity to be stronger than my environment and to be stronger than my body and to surrender to what's happening and allow this issue to pass through me. It was a crazy experience to be on that floor and feel an immense amount of energy unlike anything I've ever felt moving through my body. My body was moving uncontrollably, but I had this sense of safety throughout it and this sense of this is exactly what needs to happen in order to let this out. This is exactly what I need to go through. And I felt really thankful that I was in a place where I was able to process through it. I asked for blood tests the second I walked out of that third coherence healing. And I got blood tests when I got back home. And when I got back home, with zero medical intervention, no medicine, no drugs, no treatments, nothing other than an open heart and coherent healings, my levels were back to perfect.